Good optometry morning. Today we are answering, does cataract surgery hurt? Does it hurt? And answered 19 other common questions you might have. And we are starting right now. Hey, I'm Dr. Michael Nelson, your YouTube eye doctor, and today we're gonna to talk about some of the most common questions you might have about cataract surgery. Okay, question number one, is cataract surgery a major surgery? And the answer to this question is, cataract surgery is not considered a major surgery in the medical community. In fact, cataract surgery is almost always an outpatient procedure, which means you go in, have the surgery, you go home the same day. And cataract surgery is probably the most common surgery that's done in the world. There are over 350,000 cataract surgeries that are done every year in Canada. And in the US, there's over 2 million cataract surgeries that are done every year. That's more than C-sections that have been done. That's more than apodectomies that have been done. That's more than circumcisions that have been done. This is the most common surgery. All right, so how long does it take to have cataract surgery? So from the time you enter the clinic or the hospital, it's gonna probably be about two to two and a half hours complete. And most of that time, you're gonna be sitting around. The surgery itself, only about 20 minutes. So when you get to the hospital, you're gonna register, you have to fill in all your paperwork, all your insurance, all the intake forms, and then they're gonna to have to do all the pre-op, they're gonna to have to put drops in, they're gonna to have to put anesthetic in, they might give you a sedative, the prep work and the pre-op stuff is gonna take at least an hour, maybe an hour and a quarter. Surgery itself is about 20 minutes. And then after surgery, they're gonna have you sit in the recovery room for probably about 20, 30 minutes just to make sure you're okay and everything's good. And then you're going home. Okay, so next question, will I see stuff coming at me during the surgery? And the answer is no. When they do the surgery, you're basically gonna see a bright light that's coming in. You're gonna see some movements and shapes over top of you, but you're not gonna see the surgeon bringing their hand or any type of instrument towards your eye or anything like that. So you don't have to worry that you're gonna be watching and seeing everything that's going on. Everything's just kind of this blurry light. So the next question is, will I be awake during the surgery? And the answer is, yes, you will. So you'll be able to hear what's going on. You'll be able to feel the surgeon touching in and around your, your face and your head. But most of the time during surgeries, they're gonna give you some type of sedative. Now, when I had surgery, I had my first eye done with a sedative and the second eye done without. So when I had the first eye done, I was aware of everything the surgeon said and what was going on, but it was kind of like a dream world. And I was very relaxed and it, the time just flew by. It was about 20 minutes, but it felt like about five minutes. And then the second time I had it without the sedative. And this time I was definitely a lot more alert. So I, was, I definitely remember what the surgeons were saying, what they were talking about, what they were doing during the procedure and I definitely felt the time period was longer. I could definitely feel that it was about 20 minutes in the surgery time. So if you have any concerns or worries, then take the sedative and the time will just go right by. Okay, so another common concern is people have is, what if I blink or move my eye during the surgery? Do not worry. And so they have an instrument that keeps your eyelid wide open so you can't blink. And that helps them do the surgery without any interference. Your eye feels fine because there's lots of anesthetic and they keep it well hydrated so you don't feel it drying out. And you don't have to worry about moving your eye about. The surgeons will say, just look straight ahead. And you generally just keep looking straight ahead and they can do their procedure without any problem. And the other thing that they're gonna have is they're gonna have a drape and so they have an opening just for the one eye that they're doing surgery on. So you don't have to worry about this eye. You can keep this eye closed or you can keep it open and uh, there's no issue with the other eye. Okay, so another common question I get, particularly from younger people that have cataract surgery is, will this lens implant last a lifetime? Will I have to get the lens implant exchanged or changed at some point further down the road? And the answer is absolutely not. This acrylic lens that they put in, that's gonna out live you. It's basically a plastic kind of acrylic material and uh, there's no issue with that degrading or breaking down or needing replacement. When you have that cataract surgery, that lens is going to stay in your eye for the rest of your life. So another common question we get, will my cataracts come back or grow back? And the answer is absolutely not. So basically when the lens is there and it gets cloudy, they remove that natural lens and they put a plastic acrylic lens in place so the cataract can't come back. Now, there is another condition and it's the most common complication of cataract surgery called posterior capsular opacification. We used to call it secondary cataract or imply that the cataract's coming back, but that's not actually true. If you wanna learn about that complication, I've got a whole video right up here. You can watch it and it'll tell you all about that. So another common question we get is, how soon will I start to see clearly and will my vision be blurry after the cataract surgery? So your vision usually improves very, very quickly. Usually in about 24 hours, you're gonna start seeing really clearly. You're gonna notice everything's gonna be brighter and more sharp and more contrast and do really well. Now, there's a couple of things after the surgery that are gonna make it a little bit more blurry. So sometimes a little bit of swelling in the cornea that takes a few days for that to go down. And sometimes you'll have a prescription for eyeglasses after the surgery, so that might mean uh, things might be a little bit more blurry. But the recovery and the improvement of your 
vision is very quick and you're gonna notice it the next day. It's awesome. All right, so can cataract surgery eliminate my need for glasses? Well, sort of it can, but I wouldn't count on it. So when they take the lens out, the natural lens out, and they put the acrylic lens into your eye, they can pick which power they, they want to put in. And so they can aim to try to give you whatever prescription after the surgery they want. Now it's not perfect and exact, but they can be pretty close on it. And so they can make it so you don't need glasses for far away, or they can make it so you don't need glasses for up close, but they, we don't really have a procedure that gives you an autofocus. So oftentimes you might need reading glasses or distance glasses or glasses for some purpose after the surgery or, or progressives or bifocals. There are multifocal lens implants, which in some cases can allow people to really be quite independent from glasses after surgery. But I would kind of expect that you're gonna have less of a dependency on glasses, but still expect you'll probably need some glasses. All right, and before I forget, if you've learned any new tips about cataract surgery so far, make sure you hit that like button down below so you can let YouTube know the value of this video. Okay, so do you need to get some sunglasses for after surgery? And no, not really. So immediately after the surgery, you're gonna notice things are gonna be quite a bit brighter and because you're getting that cloudy cataract out of the way and things are gonna be brighter and clearer and more crisp. If you wanna wear sunglasses, you can, but you don't have to to protect your eye. One concern that we always talk about, the importance of UV protection. Now, a lot of people don't realize the natural lens has some UV protection in it, and the, the acrylic lens that they put in, that lens is also 100% UV. So you're still getting UV protection, so after cataract surgery, you're not required to wear UV protection all the time any more than you would uh, before the cataract surgery. Another question is, can I drive after cataract surgery? Now, generally speaking, you're not gonna wanna drive yourself to and home after cataract surgery for a few reasons. So number one, especially if you have any type of sedative, definitely you cannot drive home after the surgery. You're not alert and responsive enough to be able to do that. And the other reason, even if you don't have a sedative, you don't wanna drive home because your vision is gonna be a little bit blurry out of that eye. You're gonna probably be wearing a shield so you'll be only monocular. You won't have uh, as, as good a depth reception. So definitely have someone drive you to and drive you home from cataract surgery. But the next day, if your vision is good enough to drive, you can drive a car. Okay, so how long does it take to recover after cataract surgery? So. For full recovery after the surgery, it's probably about four to six weeks, but the initial recovery is very, very quickly. So like I said, about 24 hours, you're gonna probably notice that you're gonna be able to function and see pretty well and, uh, and do pretty well. You're not gonna be bedridden. You could probably go back, a lot of people will go back to work. As long as you avoid strenuous activities and vigorous activities, you can resume your normal functions even the next day. One thing that the surgeons will definitely tell you is that you wanna avoid vigorous activities, having th lifting heavy objects that are more than 10 or 20 pounds and doing other vigorous activities that could cause some uh, pressure build up in the eye or cause that lens to jostle around before everything's kind of settled and healed perfectly. So, and that usually is about a week to two weeks that you wanna avoid that vigorous activity, but you can go to work, you can work on a computer, you can take walks, you can work in the kitchen, you can do office work, but if you do a lot of exercise or very strenuous activities for your job, you might not want to take it easy for a week or two. Another common question is, am I gonna to have to wear an eye patch after the surgery? So. When you go home from the surgery, they're gonna put a shield and it's gonna be a clear shield that fits over the top of the, the surface of your eye and they're gonna kind of tape it onto the, and the sole purpose of that shield is protect that eye from getting poked or hit or bumped inadvertently. And mostly it's from yourself. Um, if you, Sometimes you might find your eyes a little bit itchy or, or irritated and you go inadvertently, you might go, oh, I'm gonna rub your eye and you definitely don't wanna be doing that. That shield is there to protect you from doing that. So oftentimes they will recommend you wear that shield for the first few days while that incision is healing up because you don't wanna put any inadvertent pressure on to kind of open up that incision. Uh, usually in three, four days, that incision's pretty sealed up and we're pretty good. Definitely at night for the first week, you're gonna to wanna to wear that shield because all of us, we can't control our movements during the night. And so you don't wanna roll over onto the eye and put pressure on it or in the middle of the night when you're groggy, just start inadvertently rubbing your eye. That can be a bad thing. So definitely wear that shield for at least the first week. Um, and then during the day, if you wanna wear it during the day, if you're worried about poking your eye or rubbing your eye, you can. But if you, if you know you have good discipline and don't touch your eye, then you probably can stop wearing that shield during the day if you want to. But listen to your surgeon, they'll give you instructions on that. Okay, on the same note, how should I sleep after cataract surgery? So what you should do is sleep as much as you can. That's good healing. It allows to heal up, allows the surface of the eye to, uh, to be nice and moist and hydrated. But like I said, make sure you wear the shield so you inadvertently don't rub your eye or poke your eye in the middle of the night while you're sleeping. And other than that, you can sleep normally and, and sleep is a good thing for recovery. 
Okay, so can I watch TV or work on my computer or work on my iPad or look at my phone after the cataract surgery? Absolutely you can. There's no reason why you can't do that. It's a very low impact and, and low risk activity. The only thing that it might cause is when we work on devices, we tend not to blink as much. You tend to stare and your blink rate goes down. And so you might tend to have a little bit more dryness. So after the surgery, they're gonna to tend to give you some lubricating drops and you're gonna to wanna to use those anyways. If you're watching TV or working on your computer, definitely use those lubricating drops a lot more. That's gonna help in the healing and make things feel more comfortable. Another instruction that the surgeons often will say is don't take a shower or a bath for at least a day. So the question is, can I wash my hair after the surgery? So really the concern is here, you don't want to get any water or anything that into the surface of the eye that can cause an infection. An infection to the eye after cataract surgery is one of the things we really want to avoid. So you want to avoid getting water or soap in your eye for the first few days after surgery. Now, if you can wash your hair and around your face and your body without getting any water or any soap in and around your eye, you can go for that, but just make sure you don't get anything in your eye. All right, can I wear makeup after cataract surgery? So one of the most feared complications after cataract surgery is an eye infection that gets into the eye and makeup is a great medium for growing bacteria. So you wanna avoid wearing eye makeup for probably at least a week or two weeks after the cataract surgery. And when you do start using your makeup, Make sure you treat yourself to brand new makeup so you're not using makeup that might have been contaminated with organisms. Use new makeup and wait at least a week or two weeks after surgery. And so finally, the most common and most concerning question that people have about cataract surgery, does cataract surgery hurt? And the answer is absolutely not. So they have lots of anesthetics that they put on the surface and around the eye, so everything's numbed up so you don't feel anything. Um, and you're also likely gonna be getting a sedative and that makes you feel very happy and relaxed and calm, and so you're not feeling any pain or discomfort. At most, you might feel a little pressure in and around your eye, but you feel nothing during the surgery, and even after the surgery, other than just maybe a little bit of grittiness from some of the dryness, the procedure is pain-free. Okay, and so if you wanna know more about cataract surgery, I've got a few videos on that. If you wanna see a playlist all about cataract surgery, you can look at that right up here. If you wanna learn my five top tips before cataract surgery that you can do, you can learn that here. And if you wanna learn about the most common cataract surgery complication, you can view that right down here. And if you want more videos like this about your eyes and your vision and glasses and contact lenses, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And with that, have a great optometry day.